Hi everybody, welcome to the National Fitness Hall of Fame show. I am Don Figarelli, your host for the, all the shows that will be coming up. But I'm excited about our first guest though. Uh, we're going to talk a lot of tennis for you folks out there. And our first guest is Isabel Figarelli. Hi, Hi Isabel. Nice to see you. Thank you. Uh, Isabel, I'll tell you what. About how old were you when you first got interested in tennis? It wasn't your dad who influenced you, was it? <laughs> now that you mention it. Um, he introduced me to tennis when I was around like probably three or four, but I, I didn't actually it. pick up or start playing like with a racket or mm -hmm. anything until I was about eight or nine. And then I really got into it. Mm -hmm. And then, um, of course, got to high school and started playing. Mm -hmm. Then we'll see about college. But. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, you're going to go to a junior college perhaps? or Yeah, have... we'll see. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's in the future. Uh, but that'll be coming up pretty soon. But okay, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, and now, uh, folks, listen, it's not bragging if you can do it. <laughs> now, <laughs> Isabel was the, the uh, you went down, no, you qualified for state three years in a row. Not in a row, but I did do it three out of four years. Ah, that's. And that's the only one to do it at the school, right? That I know of. <laughs> yeah. That well, I we know go. of. Yeah. Yes. Well, uh, boy, that, that's quite a quite a feat, is about to do that. Uh, why don't you? You got a lot of medals here and so on. Maybe go through each one and yeah. tell the folks, you know, what it was and how you got it. So these three are just some uh, conference medals, SPC Conference, Southern Prairie Conference. Mm -hmm. um, this is like the first major tournament of the year where you can actually get medals. Really? Uh, my freshman year, I played second singles and I got second place. Mm -hmm. My uh, mm -hmm. sophomore year, I played first doubles and I also got second place. Yes. And then uh, this year, senior year, I also got second place, <laughs> but I first singles. Well, uh, right. <laughs> oh, do you prefer singles over ten or vice versa, or do you like them both? There are better qualities that each has. Really? Singles, I don't like to rely on my partner or have a partner rely on me for mm -hmm. losing or winning so it just mm -hmm. feels better when you have yourself to count on mm -hmm. but for doubles it's always nice to have somebody there like when you miss to tell you like that's okay like just the next point like mm -hmm. don't focus mm -hmm. on it you'll be fine mm -hmm. um and then i have these three sectional medals this is like the second major tournament of the year where you have to get so far in order to qualify for state mm -hmm. um freshman year i did not qualify sophomore year me and my partner casey we did qualify mm -hmm. and we got fourth no we got third place that year mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and then um my junior year, me and my partner McKenna, we also qualified for state and we got fourth place. Mm -hmm. And then my senior year, um, we, well, I qualified for state. I was the only one that uh, made it to the second day, but I mm -hmm. got fourth place as well. Oh, wow, good for you. Thank you. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, actually, you know what, I, I prefer... <laughs> In case anybody would want to know, I prefer singles <laughs> mm -hmm. to watching singles to double for some Watching. Reason. Yeah, watching. Okay. Even although even playing though too, I'd rather play singles than doubles. I don't know, it's just me. But uh, for some reason, it's uh, like you say, uh, if you lose, you lose on your own. Yeah. You don't lose because well, your partner made a bad shot. Yeah, typically the most doubles players that I've seen are actually siblings. So when you have like a sibling that's like a year or two older than you or younger than you that's usually when you'll see oh is that um, right I yeah didn't... like the the murray brothers they play doubles together sometimes yeah uh, the right. williams sisters they play tennis as well and you're they right were i didn't doubles realize players. that and then some high schoolers that i knew they also played doubles is that right siblings. Mm -hmm. yes. so you would do that uh uh, all right, you know what? Let's talk a little bit about some rackets. Uh, what, is this your favorite one? Is this is my favorite one because it's also my favorite male tennis player's racket. It's mm. his design, Roger Federer. The Swiss himself love that man. Uh, <laughs> this is the Federer Control One Hundred Three. Uh, there's a lot of different types of rackets that you can see. Um, mm -hmm. The original ones, like from uh, the 1900s, um, they were first made out of wood wood yeah and, which is what i started with yeah there you go because <laughs> that was like typically what you'd find at like the, the stores or like wherever you can make them um 
And then they moved on to, of course, like the plastic, nylon strings, and there's like different types of strings now, different types of rackets. Mm -hmm. What well, you would you play. recommend to some of the young kids watching the show? What bracket should they start out with? Um, I would definitely recommend a Wilson. Mm -hmm. You can usually find those in the junior or beginner <laughs> size. <laughs> this is like about the size of a beginner racket uh -huh. that you'd see. Oh, okay. um, Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Stan Smith. Yeah, this is an original wood racket. Yeah, that's what I used 50 years ago when I yeah. was playing. But, um, yeah, so if you can find it like your local store, like a Wilson racket, that'll be a good start for mm -hmm. you. It'll help you learn how to do, like, top spin and, like, how mm -hmm. to power through any shot. Wow. Yeah. It's, you're very knowledgeable about the game. Uh, I wish I had taken it up earlier in my life or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but... Back then, tennis was okay, but it wasn't that popular. Right. I guess it was real popular in the 70s and 80s when your dad was playing. You know, yeah. and I won one beginner's tournament. <laughs> <laughs> so I was happy about that. But uh, today now, uh, Isabel, uh, your favorite player. Do you have a favorite? When you watch, do you have a favorite player? Um. Yeah, my favorite up-and-comers are like Naomi Osaka, Coco Goff, the newbies. But, of course, you, you always have to go with the OGs. <laughs> my gal, Serena, course, legend herself. The best of all time. Yeah, huh? her and her sister, like, they they made a big impact on the game of tennis itself and really changed it to, like, mm. how we know it today. Well, and then for the males, I already said uh, Roger is one of my favorite, one of the big three. Yeah. So um, there's also been like many celebrities that I found that are like, like old and like old, this guy. Right? Old and this male. One of your favorites. Yeah, <laughs> one of one of the one of the beginners really. Mm -hmm. Um, her Rod Laver, all of the um, how you would say the um colonists, if you will, of tennis, the <laughs> beginners, the birth, That's a good word. The birth yeah. of tennis <laughs> uh -huh. was through them, mm -hmm. and they really changed the way the game was played from like just on grass to clay and then asphalt. And so, right. I always uh, have a, uh, with your dad, okay, mm -hmm. the best tennis player, I, I, I always say it was Jimmy Connors, but, mm -hmm. but that's going back now, yeah. you, you know, but he, I think he won more matches than anybody i think i'm not sure on that but i think he won <laughs> yeah. more matches i don't know about majors but i know matches okay mm -hmm. uh so he was my favorite okay uh isabel i'll tell you we could go on for another hour <laughs> <That's good. laughs> better yeah. than five or six minutes talking about that because a lot of rules regulate you know think of, There's oh, a lot I, of things one more thing learn. one more thing yes which i can't stand is the grunting that goes uh, on with especially with some of the, I don't know, the better players. They grunt so much, mm -hmm. and the women doing that. I can't I understand why they do that. Um, well, of course, it's not just women. The guys do it, too. Well, yeah. It's, it's always very loud. But um, actually, a good friend of mine um, actually taught me this my sophomore year. Uh, she she is more of a professional, like national player, yeah. nationally ranked. Yeah. She told me that her coaches have taught her that when you grunt, is it right? You let out power because you're holding the tension inside your body when you like stop to breathe. So when you grunt, you exhale and let all of it out, and that gives you more power. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Oh boy! I mean the screaming, but like <laughs> yeah, the grunting. Right. You know, yes. You're right. Exactly. Yeah. All right, folks. Hey, that wraps up the show. Uh, thanks for watching the show. If you have any questions. Uh, you could uh, write, give us a call, or uh, go to the website, okay? Isabel, It was thanks. really nice. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thank you, Isabel. All right, folks, take care now. Thank you.